Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So in this video here we're going to be spraying this uh, little Civic, a uh, brand new one actually at the time. Now I must admit that I did record this footage around six months ago now but I've been wanting to edit this up for a while but I just haven't had the motivation and at the moment I'm just in one of those moods where I feel like editing and narrating videos up so here we go enjoy it so some of you guys may notice that a few things have changed this is actually not the place where I'm working at the moment but uh, it's a place that I used to work the previous job where I used to spray Chromax Pro these guys needed a hand so yeah I came down a couple of nights after after work during the week and helped them spray a couple of jobs now I was spraying Chromax Pro last time I worked here but since then they've actually changed paint systems again so they've changed to Octorul water based so this is actually the first time I ever sprayed Octorul waterborne paint system and I must admit it's quite simple to spray it really reminds me just like spraying solvent so one difference in spraying the Octorol compared to the Chromax Pro water is that you don't need your base coat blender so you guys are probably pretty familiar with uh, my standard videos and I'll always put uh, 599 down when I'm using uh, standoc solvent which basically just fills in your prep scratches and helps you blend now these guys tell me that even spraying like coarse metallic silvers and all that kind of stuff they say you don't even need the wet bed they call it in America or we call it like base coat blender over here um, which is just basically like your transparent base coat that yeah helps to blend they say you don't even need it with this um, paint system and I have heard of a couple of other paint systems like waterborne paint systems that don't actually require it so yeah that's pretty cool you know it saves a step it's something that I did have to do with the um, the Chromax Pro but yeah I've, I've actually I enjoyed spraying this like I only used it a couple of times but as I say it's a lot more like spraying water uh, sorry solvent now when I was spraying Chromax Pro you have to absolutely heave it on so you'll put like one wet coat on and then hold the gun right back and put another sort of medium wet coat on so what, what you're doing when you're putting two coats on at once is you're putting a lot of material on so it's obviously going to take a little bit longer to dry whereas with this stuff you just go medium wet medium wet if it needs a third coat go medium wet again so you dry it in between coats so um, it may take a little bit longer because you're putting three coats on um, but your flash times in between and being that you're actually allowing each stage to, to dry between coats it's actually probably very similar if not the same overall time as spraying your Chromax Pro so you know you may save what four or five minutes um, on the actual spraying time with the Chromax Pro but you'll definitely lose that in the drying time of the base coat so yeah either way I just found it just more intuitive to me maybe because I'm a, a solvent spray I always you know I grew up did my apprenticeship and done most of my career spraying solvent I, I didn't find this um, like too much of a stretch or too difficult to spray it had great coverage obviously the kind of color does help you know this is a pretty boring pastely gray color the funny thing about this color is you barely ever know it right but it's actually full of green pearls it, it, to me it just looks like primer it looks like a value shaded primer um, that you just clear over not one of my favorite colors but I know it's like the modern style I know lots of people do like it you know so whatever floats your boat you know I'm not telling you what what color you should enjoy looking at but not really something that's that exciting for me to look at so yeah I didn't even do the color matching on this all I did was mask it and clean it down obviously the guys did all the prep work I think I just came in for like an hour and a half or two hours um, on this night and then the following night I came in and did a yeah he red Hyundai I get so I might end up getting around to editing that footage up too just because it's something different more than anything not that a Hyundai gets is something that exciting to watch spray but yeah just because it's something different because I'm using a slightly different product so I did find with that red gets um, the color you know needed the three coats whereas with this one it was just two so yeah look I'm not actually technically reviewing that's why I decided I'm not calling this a review because I only used this paint system twice and I didn't do any of the color matching so um, yeah I'll just show you guys the way you I applied it and what I think of the the base coats and the clear coats but to do a, a proper review on a paint system I'd really want to use it a little bit more than two times you know 
um, I guess the, what makes or breaks any paint system really um, is going to be how good they are for colours. You know, you, everything else can be totally fine, but if the if you're spending hours every day matching colours, well then obviously it's going to get a bad review. But I have no doubt it will be good. I think they've got a Spectros, so you know, supposedly it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I could foresee myself getting this system into a shop of mine one day if it was at the right price. I, I don't dislike it. it. Yeah, obviously the base coat takes a little bit longer than your solvent to dry, but not a great deal. You, you do have to crank that booth temperature up when you're spraying and um, between base coat and clear coat right up to 30. Um, another thing worth keeping in mind is that when you're spraying your waterborne uh, paints, you do have to wipe it down with the waterborne cleaners, um, not just your standard wax and grease removers. I mean, some people cheat that, supposedly. Some people just use wax and grease remover. Um, but yeah, you should really be using a proper um, waterborne cleaner. So it turns out this gun was just the color matching gun. I think it's like the 100B, something like that, the side of 100B. And I came in the next day and the painter's like, dude, did you use that old SATA to uh, put the base coat down? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it worked fine, man. Nothing wrong with it. He's like, man, that, <laughs> that old piece of... That old POS, um, he's like, no nah, man, that's like our colour matching gun. We don't use that to spray with. I'm like, it was fine, mate. It did the job mean. <laughs> Mint, mate. I, I, I did notice it wasn't actually spraying fully even fan. I think it was like top or bottom heavy or something. But man, you, that's something that you can pretty much even up with, uh, you know, even, depending on how bad it is, you can, you can even that up, mate. It'll come out in the wash. Yeah, we're right. Um, yeah, it came out fine, man. As you see, I was just using the air blowers uh, before I went to mix the clear up just to get um, get that base coat drying down. And then went out and mixed up the clear. Honestly, I can't tell you the clear coat, the name of the clear coat, but it was the Octoral HS. And I tell you what, man, I was pretty impressed with this clear. Like, it, it held a really nice gloss and it goes down, I don't know, nice, nice amount of flow to it. It was one or two spots where it was like just holding on, you know. It, uh, it just seemed to stay wetter a little bit longer than the clear that I was used to. Uh, another contributing factor of uh, absolutely smashing it on is the fact that I was using my Segola. Uh, so that's the Segola 4600 and DVR Titania was the air cap that I was using. I do love this gun. Now, honestly, it's been getting neglected a little bit lately. So I, w I was going through a stage where I was using it heaps around this era here about six months ago. And then the DV-1 came in, I got my Lotus, and you know, I uh, yeah forgot about the poor old Segola. It's been sitting there collecting dust, unfortunately. Poor old girl, mate. I'm gonna have to start bringing her back out and using it again, because I like it. I mean, it's one of those things, not everyone's going to like it. Um, so DVR Titania was the air cap, 1.3 XL was the fluid tip, and this is the digital version, just running it at two bar and full fluid and full fan so as you can see it smashes it on it really does but it, yeah i mean i follow this guy on instagram uh jose is actually his name and he's got a page called gato negro car body shop well also he's got a car body shop in the netherlands so i do actually recommend going and checking out his instagram page they do some amazing work and if you are in the netherlands and you want an old specifically a porsche you know they're like porsche specialists and um, yeah, they do just some amazing restoration work where they fully strip cars down, but the point that I was actually about to make is that he doesn't like it. I think he said he gave it, or no, he didn't even give it away, I think he said he threw it out, like he just didn't like it. So, you know, I think he actually bought it on my recommendation, um, I think he's actually Spanish, so uh, he decided to buy one and then didn't like it and, <laughs> got, yeah, did away with it. I'm like, yeah. Seems like a bit of a waste, surely you'd be able to find someone to give it to, but either way, um, it's all good, you know, horses for courses, I, I like it, you might not like some of the things that I do like and vice versa, so, yeah, just be aware of that, I mean, being in Australia when we've got lots of hot days, you know, a, a gun that's really fast does come in handy sometimes, and also, like, it was at this shop, now, I, I sprayed, oh, what was it, like, an old, I think it was like, GTO or something like that, but anyway, like a big yank tank, like massive car, full ray spray on it, and I just wanted to get out of there. It was like a Saturday, I was tired, it was late, 
So there would be no other gun that I would go to other than this one. A gun that is just like really killer fast and it gets a lot of material on really quickly. So yeah, it's it's a gun that I don't think I ever want to sell. Um, but yeah, as I say, I can't remember the name of the clear coat. It's been so long. I should have taken a photo of the can of clear, but I didn't. So, you know, forgive me on that one. Um, apart from that, I think that's about a wrap. I think I've said all I needed to say in this video. I'm just going to leave it there and continue watching for the next five or so minutes if you like to watch me smash that second coat of clear on. And until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.
guys. Yep, yep. I like to ride this way. I'll see this way is good. Better than the first one. Not for this way is one. Not for this Yeah. 